What's up? How are you guys today? We're going to go through a full day of eating, what I do for my liver detox, fixing all the problems we had from those eight years on the carnivore diet. And since it is getting cooler in New York, you kind of have to eat in the morning to stay warm, have energy throughout the entire day. You know, in the summer, you can get away with skipping meals, not eating as much and still being okay. But if you don't eat enough quality food, you're going to be so cold and freezing as soon as those temperatures get below 50, 40 degrees. So let me show you guys what we're doing for breakfast. So we have some organic oatmeal here. I'm doing uh, two packets of apple cinnamon and two packets of maple brown sugar. I like this a lot because it's very minimal on the ingredients, just the oats, some sugar, some fruit, natural flavors, which might not be that great, cinnamon and sea salt, but compared to most other things in the supermarket, this is really, really an excellent product. So we got three packets of that here. Water is boiling on the stove, apple for dessert, and we're going to do some of the pork breakfast sausage from Frankie's Free Range Meat as our source of protein. I think we'll do two of these. So for the oatmeal, I'll add the water. I'll let it sit for, you know, three to five minutes. And then the oats are going to absorb all of that liquid. I'll add some more water because you want this to be as hydrated as possible so that, you know, you don't get dehydrated yourself eating some really dry oats. All right, guys, we got our breakfast ready. So oatmeal, apple, the pork sausage from Frankie's True Range Meat. And I try to have some protein, small amount of fat, good amount of carbohydrates with every meal. But to stay warm, you really need cooked protein and fat. Like if you just have carbs or sugar, that type of, it's not going to keep you warm. So this breakfast sausage is in the pork share we have. Actually discounted now on Frankie's Shrew Range Meat. You also get like Italian sausage, smoked sausage, liverwurst pork chops. There's a lot of stuff, guys. So if you're interested in these types of sausage and charcuterie products, just check out the website. I know a lot of you guys are against pork. And if it's not salted or like acidified with vinegar, it doesn't digest as well. But since these are salted, we're good to go. And pork's actually higher in certain B vitamins compared to beef. So I don't mind including it. And then we have the oatmeal, which is our starch, our fiber, the bulk of our calories. Excellent for uh, detox and gut motility. Uh, the oats are so high in certain types of fiber that uh, they're one of the best things for that. So sometimes I'll add like a little bit of coconut oil, salt, and some of the flextrose to the oats, which really brings out the flavor. But today we're having it plain. We're not having water kefir for breakfast uh, because I don't want to be uh, drunk all day, but um, kefir grain's not a bad idea. Once you're at like a certain point where you don't need the probiotics anymore to digest and feel okay, then it's not necessary to have it every meal. Nice thing about sausage and ground beef is since it is like all ground up together, has a large surface area, digests very easily. Therefore, you don't really want to eat as much of it. Cause like I'll down a whole steak and have chunks of meat in my stomach, and then I'll feel like I overate later. What would also be really good here is like hash browns or potatoes homemade. Maybe a little high in fat, but both potatoes and oats are kind of like a whole grain, good source of fiber, good for gut motility. If you start switching over to like toast or white bread, waffles, pancakes, that type of stuff in the morning, if you're healthy and you don't have digestive issues, maybe you could stomach it, but it's just so concentrated in sugar and starch and there's no fiber. So some people, it doesn't work out as well. Maybe about halfway through the meal, we'll have our mastic gum. And this is uh, the amount I use now. I would say it's maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. And we've spoken about this before. There's a very fine line of overdoing the masticum where you will have like diarrhea and digestive issues. What I forgot to show you guys is I took a few organic lemons, juiced them, put them in a bottle of water and just hydrated with that in the morning. So I'm not as thirsty now because I've already drank basically like an entire bottle of water. 
and the lemons in there are you know for the antiscorbutic properties the vitamin c which is necessary when you're having like cooked foods lots of oats lots of grains they can deplete the body's vitamin c stores uh, so i might even take like an ascorbic acid uh, supplement or vitamin c supplement capsule uh, after the meal all right so we had one and a half sausages most of the oatmeal and i'm going to have my apple i could finish this 100 percent, but i'm like full now there's a difference between full and stuffed if i ate all of this i'd be stuffed and i want to kind of keep my energy high and um, not have too much food in my stomach i would say we've had between 550 and 700 calories for this breakfast meal which is, is good for me now especially considering like i did eat a late dinner last night so i wasn't that hungry when i woke up but i think that's everything so i'll see you guys for lunch did i forget to go over everything i mean obviously animal protein b vitamins cholesterol saturated fat all that good stuff in the high quality pasture raised pork corn and soy free oatmeal gut motility starch feed the gut bacteria most important part of the meal and then the apples are for some more gut motility higher water content food keep things moving. Masticum, which is on organsupplements.com, is a antimicrobial that does not get absorbed, so it's not damaging the liver. Very, very effective. So we did a few hours of work and we are back for lunch having a sandwich. So for the bread, we're using bread alone, organic sourdough bread, very high quality. I think it might be only available in the New York area, not 100% sure. We have some of the Prime rib from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Nice, rare ribeye, sliced thin. Really, really delicious. My favorite lately. And what's also going on in the sandwich, I have some leftover shiitake mushrooms and some homemade mayonnaise. On the side, we're having the organic potato chips from Frankie's Free Range Food. So this is a pretty low inflammatory meal from a detox perspective. Uh, the only things that are a little questionable are the fat content of the potato chips and the fat content of the mayonnaise. So if you want to be really, really strict, then either use a very small amount of that or none at all. So maybe just have some like baked potatoes or don't put mayonnaise on the sandwich. So we got the mayo and the mushrooms on the sandwich. I'm just going to show you guys the ribeye we have. I like to do two sandwiches with less meat as opposed to one sandwich with a lot of meat. Now, that's because you know the protein can be a little bit hard on digestion, a little bit hard on the liver when you're eating so much of it. So I try to shoot for about a third of a pound of protein per meal. So we actually toasted the sandwich in the pan a little bit. And if the bread's really, really fresh, sometimes I won't do that, but most of the time I will. You know, it's cold or warm up the sandwich and the crust on the outside always makes it better, so. As you guys saw, we have the shiitake mushrooms, the prime rib, and the mayo. This is really delicious. I actually ate like three of these sandwiches the other night. We have the plain water kefir that I brought home. Slightly carbonated, not enough to explode everywhere. And this is really potent, so maybe dilute it with water by half. You could try. It depends on your tolerance. And I also remember to bring the kefir grains home. Uh, we have these on sale, guys, heavily discounted uh, for the next few days, but I think we're running out. So I'm going to have about a tablespoon of grains as well. So I'll do a quick meal breakdown, guys. You know the prime rib is for the animal protein, the cholesterol, those nutrients, amino acids, B vitamins that we need. The shiitake mushrooms, I like them for the flavor. They are an excellent source of minerals though. Help also with a little bit of gut motility as well because they're like a high volume vegetable. The bread, which is made from whole red winter wheat, is a pretty minimally inflammatory carb source in a sense that it really doesn't have anti-nutrients and you know, people say, oh, gluten zero. We did the video on gluten a few weeks ago explaining why. So something like a sourdough bread like this made with organic wheat is far less inflammatory for me than eating like white or brown rice just because of the arsenic content. And we'll maybe talk about the rice more later. And the potatoes, of course, 
a whole natural, very high quality food. It's just, you know, when you slice them and make potato chips, people think they're unhealthy because they're usually fried in vegetable oil, but since these are made with coconut oil, it's very, very, very healthy, very healthy. Overall on this meal, we're getting a lot of nutrients, vitamins, and a lot of bulk to help detox the liver. You know, I actually wanted to have some of the ham today that we have in the pork share, but since we had pork for breakfast, I just decided I'll do what I normally do and have the prime rib or roast beef. We have done the water cube for a little while. I've just been like lazy, not taking it home, not kind of timing it properly. But uh, as we've said many times on this channel, it has been by far the most important factor in my diet and fixing my gut. But since I did have large amounts of water kefir for, I mean, the better part of a year, I do have, you know, the correct bacteria in my stomach now. So I don't really have to have it every single day because after you repopulate your gut with the water kefir, water kefir grains, after things are kind of corrected, which might take months to a year or two, then, you know, when you're eating food, the good bacteria is in your stomach. So it's not necessary every single day anymore. All right. Normally, I really like the kefir, so I drink the whole bottle, but <laughs> it's way too much for, for one meal. So I, I try to stop myself halfway through the bottle and then just have some water. So I'm pretty full. We had most of the sandwiches. We had maybe a handful of potato chips. So I'm going to have an apple uh, for a bit of dessert. And I guess we'll see you guys for dinner. Oh, almost forgot. I will be having, as usual, my mastic gum every single meal. What's up, guys? It's time for dinner. Let me show you what we're having. So I was actually going to have some filet mignon with some potatoes, which is a really easily digestible meal. But I changed my mind. I want more carbs. I feel like having noodles. So we're going to do the organic udon noodles in the reinforced collagen broth that we make. So I'll take the collagen stock that we have on Frankie's free range meat. I'll add a bunch of steak to it and cook it in the instant pot to add more B vitamins and flavor. And we're going to use the prime rib again as our source of meat. Normally I would do like the best burger blend or one of the ground beefs that we have on Frankie's free range meat. I just forgot to bring it home. So all I'm going to do guys is boil the noodles in glass bottle mineral water over here, chop up the prime rib, put it in the collagen broth with some salt and oil, and then we'll eat. So this stuff is really, really gelatinous, but then when we put the hot noodles in, it kind of melts and cools off the noodles. So it works out perfectly. All right, guys. So we have the big bowl of noodles with the collagen broth and prime ribeye. That's going to be the bulk of our calories, our protein, little bit of fat. As usual, I have an apple for dessert and maybe we'll have some golden raisins too. Everything, of course, organic, the highest quality. We're going to have some masticum as usual with every meal. I don't drink the water kefir before bed anymore. I'll usually have it earlier in the day. Sometimes I will have the, the grains with dinner, but we're not going to do that today. I will say, though, everything is on sale on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Uh, the grains are half off because we have a lot of them. And the water kefir is $7 on discount just so we can kind of keep it fresh and moving for you guys. So we did a video on uh, a more in-depth udon noodle recipe a few uh, weeks back. And uh, you guys have seen this meal a few times, so you kind of know what the deal is. Just a lot of carbs, starch, keep the liver detoxing, small amount of animal protein for the vitamins. And the collagen broth is highly bioavailable amino acids. And I do feel a lot better when having the broth in my diet consistently. So I guess my main carbohydrate source has been wheat in the form of bread or noodles, uh, followed by potatoes. And I guess you could say rice here and there, but the dozens, if not hundreds of times I've tried it over these few years on this new diet, really never had much success. Almost never sleep after eating rice. Few occasions, maybe I had brown rice, but even then sometimes I don't sleep eating it. Can't really pinpoint it. Uh, to anything besides the arsenic content and i've seen that you know soaking the rice can reduce that but i mean th there's other carbohydrates that i feel much better on so 
You know, as much as rice seems like this pure starch carbohydrate, I'm, I'm not that inclined to gravitate towards it as much as I, I have been uh, trying to. Maybe it's uh, partially because I'm Italian. Maybe I have some uh, genetic disposition to wheat, but who knows? Before I have my dessert, we're gonna have our usual half teaspoon of mastic gum. And guys, I'm just gonna enjoy this apple. Maybe I'll have like a handful of the raisins too. So you guys can go to frankdestefano.com where you'll see Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, a lot of the high quality organic products that we've had today that you will not find anywhere else. If you'd like to support me, that is. But outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys. And we'll see you for the next video.